19th century uplifted the descendants of homo sapiens from an agrarian age to mission age with the help of two theories theory of mechanics and thermodynamics which leads the engineers to make steam engine that leads to locomotive and industrial age in the 20th century we opened the flood gate of technology uh, with the and mastered the law of electricity and magnetism which leads us to tv radio and that help us to uh, reach that took us to moon and in the 21st century we opened the secrets of quantum revolution which help us to develop transistors and uh, lasers which give us supercomputers modern telecommunication system gps and tiny chips which permeated every aspects of our life idu pol thaneyana human genome project without sounding corny the most significant scientific project the mankind has ever mounted this is basically an investigation into ourselves to understand the enormous power of the gene to determine the color of our skin the shape of our nose and the color of our hair and eyes this revolution gives us an owner's manual of an individual which going to birth to a new form of medicine which is called theoretical medicine or modular medicine in which the disease can be battled at the molecular level molecular and genetic level in future we are going to the doctor and give blood samples to him that will be placed to the genetic laboratory and the genetic laboratory within one month will give you the dns you can see this sequence will be placed into the computer and the computer will decide do we have any 5000 non genetic disease idinu vendite doctor ku namaku he can give you the medicines that it means the preventive medicines which the disease years before the disease arise this shows that the medicine is going to from a treatment based to preventive based discipline lot of bioengineered projects pro- products are going to flood into the market flood into the market for uh, supporting these kind of treatments that means lot of different types of supporting these industries are going to develop all over the world growing human body parts number of animals like lizards and amphibians can can regenerate their lost leg arm and uh, tail but mammals do not process uh, do not process this property with the support of universal donor cell bioengineers are developing different types of organs human organs like ears nose blood kidney etc other than that bm uh, with the support of uh, uh, support of uh, bmt uh, protein they are developing bones beyond 2050 all body parts can be transplanted except brain in india six companies pharma companies consortium is set up a plan for fbt full body transplant they may be have transplanted people among us where different head and body from different people dna on a chip the grand merge of the computers and biomolecular revolution produced two types of chip one is biochip and other one is dna chip the biochip is uh, using for homology search between certain humans and animals which is useful for biologist and eventually this will take over the entire dna sequencing business the dna chip the dna chip is the size of our uh, our nail it is a microchip and uh, the potential of this microchip is uh, it can skews 
an entire DNA laboratory to into a chip. It can scan any person's DNA instantly. Any person can use this chip to scan his uh, DNA for P53 mutations and uh, cystic fibrosis disease, 450 different types of mutation can be searched this, uh, searched with this chip, this kind of, it's a, a cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease. It is basically, it is coming for uh, uh, Caucasians. Your future toilets are coming with uh, these chips. This chip will fixed inside the toilet. This toilet will tell you the future of your disease. This chip can scan and analysis the protein which supports the, 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 for, for the cancer. And uh, immediately, uh, more than that, your bathroom mirror will have this chip. Just blow on the ba bathroom mirror. It can scan your gene and it can tell you the, the, the presence of P53 mutation. Your towels will be merged with uh, this kind of chips. Two fire technology can find the foundation of youth? Yes, possible. There are a lot of theories around this. One is uh, a mitochondrial theory. Second is oxidation theory and a calorific restriction theory. But all the scientists are looking very seriously into this. End of our chromosomes have a plastic tip. It is just like the cap end of our shoelace. This preventing them getting frayed. If, which is called telomas, if the telomas are not there, the chromosome will stick together and eventually it dies. There is an enzyme called telomerase which helps to preventing them and it regenerate them. So it will not, the, the cell will not suicide, getting suicide. So this way we can extend our youth. That is what the scientists say. This is what is exactly happening in cancer cells. This, this is actually, this telomas is actually a fuse of the cell. If this fuse is not happening, the cell will not die. That is what happening in cancer. How biotechnology is going to revolutionize forensic science or criminalytics? The significant changes that make obsolete the DNA fingerprint. DNA fingerprint can give you a match, but a DNA sequencing can give you the whole history of a person. For example, a cell from a, from a dandruff can give you and with the DNA sequence again, can, uh, we can get details of uh, a person's hair color, eye color, body weight, body shape, everything, every history about a person. This is going to revolutionize the criminalytics. Some of the European countries and the US states have already passed a law to collect the data the blood samples and uh, to get the DNA from the jail inmates. This way it is going to revolutionize in the forensic science. Gene editing. Gene editing is uh, uh, doing with the support of uh, CRISPR Cas9 technology. There are two types of gene editing. One is somatic gene therapy and uh, second one is germline gene therapy. Somatic gene therapy is a simple gene editing of an individual had already been born. Germline gene therapy is a uh, controversial one more, more of, most of the places. Uh, some uh, germline gene therapy is we can design our, our progeny's future. This way, this is the positive side of this uh, uh, germline gene therapy is uh, we can remove almost 5,000 genetical diseases from the human race, like sickly cell anemia, that is African, the genetic disease of African American. Tay-Sachs is a genetic disease of the Jews. 
cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease uh, uh, for uh, Caucasians. This disease can be uh, can be easily removed with this uh, germline therapy. But the controversial part is we can design the parents can design the our their uh, children's future. This way we can make designer babies like uh, uh, more brainy kids or we can make a football player. Already in medicine, we are tackling the diseases and enhancing and perfecting our body. We know the fountain of youth. Moreover, we are aware and isolating the genes that are controlling the age. With this knowledge, we are going to get the power of gods in mythology roman goddess venus had a perfect body and immortal